What's up guys? So um, today I want to talk about the state of things in Western countries, right? So like the way things are going in terms of the dynamics between men and women is just getting worse and worse and worse. It's not getting better, you know? The yin and the yang is dissolving. Men are becoming more like women and women are becoming more like men. And just the, the, the amount of guys that are never gonna wake up and if you haven't woken up in 2020 as to the way of the world as to how corrupt it is how messed up it is you're never gonna wake up and sure there are some people that are waking up but compared to the amount of people that should be waking up or the amount of people that haven't w woken up it's tiny people are just completely brainwashed um, just in terms of in the in terms of the way the world works they have no idea they're so gullible they just believe everything the mass media says they have no idea what's what the truth is even when the truth is just right there in front of you if the media says one thing if the media says oh it's it's raining outside it's raining it's it's don't go outside it's it's there's heavy heavy floods and but you look out the window and there's no there's no rain there's no floods there's no anything people will still believe the media that's how gullible people are and um but yeah, the same can be said for, for the way the dynamics between men and women and dating. Like the media says women want feminized men. Women want emotional, weak, basically cowardly men. And everyone believes it. When, but, you know, we see the world, we see the reality. We know it's not true. We look around, we, we see how women behave. They despise weak men. They despise men that are too emotional. Um, they really hate it. But we're told by the mass media, the mainstream media, that this is what women want. And it's lies. Masculine men attract feminine women. Feminine men attract masculine women this is how it works you know you go around behaving like a weak little bitch and you're gonna get a woman that treats you like a bitch a masculine strong woman if you go around behaving like a man a masculine man you're gonna get a feminine woman you know you're never gonna hear this in the, in the mainstream media it's all about men wearing flowers and wearing dresses and teaching their kids to be, teaching their little boys to act like girls and, you know, all this transgender stuff and, you know, teaching kids about sexuality. It's no good. I don't know. I, personally, I don't think it's, it's going to get any, any better. I just think it's... Um, the, the West is in decline, you know, call it a black pill, I don't know what it is, but that's just, that's just the way I see it going. Um, yeah, I don't think, I don't think women are going to change in, in the West. I think they might want to change, but by, by that point, it'll be too late. I do think it's going to be too late, um, too late to change. Because women, women can't behave like women anymore. They're, it's it's just the propaganda is too thick and heavy. They don't understand. It's probably there's probably never been a, a worse time to be to be a woman in, in in Western countries at this time. They're told that men are bad. They're told that marriage is bad. They're told that um, having babies is bad. And they all 
lap this up. They just, they, they all believe it. But the proof is in a 35 year old woman's face. When you see them, when you see, you see how sad they look. Knowing that that window of opportunity to create another life is, is almost gone, if not gone, forever, for eternity. That'll never come back. They'll never experience the joy of giving birth to a child. They'll, they'll never understand it. They won't understand what it's like to be, uh, to fulfill their womanhood and produce a child. They'll never get it. And that's the majority of Western women. Um, you know, we're just, men have just given up. And, but the, the thing is, if you're a guy that has woken up, that has swallowed the red pill, it depends on what you want out of life. But if you like, you know, having sex, maybe there's never been a better time to be alive. There's never been a better time to be alive. If you want to raise a family, if you want to have a lot of kids, maybe it's not, it's not the best time. But for guys like me that just, you know, kind of making the best out of a bad situation, it's not so bad. Because I, I don't have any of these responsibilities, you know, we have contraception, I don't, you know, we have all these dating apps, we can, we're, we have freedom, you know, we have freedom to do, you know, to hook up and source as many women as we want. And women are, you know, told that it's a good thing if, if they sleep with as many men as possible, if they, you know, if they also have uh, sexual liberation. And I don't think any guy in the whole goddamn world com complains about that, women having sexual liberation. They can have it, but really it's, it's the men that are winning. It's the men that are woken up, that understand male and female nature, that are ones that are winning big time out of this. Um, so I would just suggest the guys not to despair about the situation, but just to enjoy the decline. It is what it is. I mean, I still think there's probably, you know, if, if you have your shit together, of course there's a possibility if you still want to have a family and have kids and, and stuff like that, of course that's still very possible. But, you know, the thing is, a woman would be very, very lucky to find, find a guy that has his shit together and has it you know is willing to you know you know give her a good life uh, they're going around saying where are all the good men what? <laughs> the good men the, this Western propaganda this this thing always criticizing men has has gotten rid of all, all the good men they've beticized all the good men all the good men are just sitting at home playing video games doing fuck all so you reap what you've so you sow, you know. This is this is what Western society has come to, you know. And I'm just loving the way I'm just loving. I don't know, you know. It's good to see when someone gets gets their comeuppance, you know. And this this is what Western society is. Western society is suffering because of all the fucking bullshit that they've played over the past since the 1960s all the lies all the just ignoring human nature not accepting human nature so to any guys i would suggest that you get your shit together and make the most out of a bad situation good or bad situation it depends on what way you look at it for me it's a good situation um, it's kind of sad, but, you know, you're not going to change it, you know, you're really not. It's too big. It's bigger than all of us, you know. You can't, it's like a truck that the brakes are gone on. You're not going to stop that truck. That's the West. It's going towards a wall. The brakes are shot. You're not going to stop that truck. 
gonna hit that wall, boom, you know. And I, for one, you know, I'm out here in Japan, and um, you know, not a bad place to be. The Japanese have all have other 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 issues going on here, but they haven't abandoned the realities of, of male and female dynamics. They know, they know that men are men and women are women. And they have tolerance for things in between, but they still, they still know the basic and accept the basics of human nature here. And that's a good thing. The population here is actually in decline for other economic reasons. Um, most developed societies um, their population eventually starts declining when once it reaches a peak. But I don't think it's for the same reasons as it's uh, decreasing in the West. But, you know, it is what it is. Alright guys, so that's all. I just want to, you know, share my thoughts about the decline of Western society. So, you know, tell me what you think like comment and subscribe all right peace